Hello everyone, in this video we are going to solve a few questions about angle bisectors. Uh, they are going to be pretty simple uh, because usually they're just going to be either divide by 2 or multiply by 2 because that's what angle bisectors does. Uh, an angle bi is bisected which means it is cut in half forming two new angles. Those two new angles are this right here, that small angle and the one right next to it, I don't want to color that one too, then they're going to look like just one whole big angle. If the original angle had a measure of 12 degrees, and remember it is cut by two equal pieces, uh, what is the measure of each new angle? This one would be 6 degrees, that one would be 6 degrees, so each angle would be 6 degrees. Uh, let's see what the next level look like. I will pause the video right here. Okay, uh, here is the next level. Once you hit kind of 28, 30 points, you're going to see a similar question like this. Uh, an angle is bisected forming two new angles. Those two new angles are 98.6 and 98.6. What was the measure of the original angle? Basically, it tells you to add these together or just multiply one of them by two. 98.6, 98.6. When you add these together, you get 197.2, if I didn't do it wrong. Uh, so let, let's pause the video and then see the next level. Okay, here is what happens when you hit kind of 40, 45 uh, on C5. What is the length of BE? BE is right here. A wild guess would be it would be equal to 73, but let's see what the question is about. Uh, it is about an angle bisector right here, 38 degrees and 38 degrees. They go on forever to this way and that way. And we have perpendicular sides coming towards these two, like BE and BC. When you have angle bisectors, the length of these two uh, perpendicular sides are going to be the same. That's why BE is going to be 73. Let's pause the video and see the next question, next level. Or let me just... Okay. Now let's check this question out. Can you use angle bisector theorem to solve for angle GFH? Okay. Yes, we can. GFH, if this is, we can figure this side, yeah, we can figure that one out, that would be equal to 62, here is why. This would be yes, because when these two are equal, and if you see the perpendicular segments as well, both of them together, not just one of them at a time, these two angles would be 62 degrees, and also, let me show you one more thing, whatever that one is. I will just put a letter like M, whatever that is, would be equal to this angle. These two would be equal as well. M and M degrees, 62 and 62 degrees. This would be yes. Uh, let me do one more. Let's skip a level. Okay. So right here, we have two angles being equal to 68 degrees. QSR. Let me locate that angle. 68 and QST okay if I have two angles being equal like 60x and 68 and 68 and also if I see these 90 degrees I'm telling you that these two are going to be equal and also these two are going to be equal left side is identical to the uh, as the right side also one more thing Let's just show that one as well. These two angles are also equal. Now let's see what else is given. QR and QT. QR and QT are the red sides on the left and right. Uh, A plus 36 QR. And then QT is 4A. And these two should be equal. Let's set them up equal to each other. A is going to be 12, I think. 
uh, 3a equals to 36 divided by 3 a equals to 12 which was our question uh, let's see when the next level start if I can exit this out okay this is the final question uh, probably you're not gonna need many of you will not need this sorry about that uh, let's get to the question if your goal is 70 you don't need to watch the rest of this you can stop let's see what this question is about two angles being equal G I H is right here I'll use a different color and G I J these two angles are equal uh, two sides G H and G J are given G H is right here 70 gj is t plus 48 okay uh, two properties combined together these blue angles are equal you also have those 90 degrees being equal which leads you to these two sides are equal also they're not part of our question but if they were we would also know that ji and ih ih are equal as well uh, these two angles would be equal to just in case right here that one and this one right here just for the reference probably you're gonna have questions regarding those ones uh, but for our question we said 70 and t plus 48 equals to each other subtract 1t from both sides so 60 equals 48 divide each side by 6 and then you will get t equals 12 i think that's all guys uh i'll hopefully see you in another video next week i'm trying to exit this out by the way <laughs> uh if you have any other questions just make sure you comment below uh to let me know about you have other questions uh other than that i think that's all uh see you next week guys